Hello, this is Craig, and I was trying to come up with a Space Empire social game. Let me show you the basic mechanic I came up with. This is the sort of game that you might play on Facebook or on your phone. It's got the standard click and come back method, where you click on something, in this case your colonies, and then it takes them a certain amount of time to come back online after you click them. In this case, colonies grow each time you click them, and the larger the colony, the slower it comes back online, so this is a, you know, some, it gets pretty slow after a while. In this case, we have one point of light. We have one colony here. If we click, we gain one dollar, and it takes us a couple of seconds to come back online. If we were to click again, we would get uh, eight dollars, because I currently have it as the number of settlements to the third power. But, you know, that's all stuff that I haven't um, settled on yet. The key here is the mission. So here is a mission counting up. This is not a mission that's available just yet, but it will be available now. And as long as this green bar is here, it is available. So I can click on it. And that gave me another planet. Now, the, uh, um, the mission is only available during the mission window. So if that green bar goes away, you're out of mission. And you won't get another mission until you click on that planet again which means that you only get one mission per planet cycle, I guess you could say. So even though Arpel Strip Liberty 5 is ready for me to click on it, I may want to hold off until the mission window starts. But I don't want to hold off so long that the mission window closes again. This means that if your planet is going to be offline for six hours, if your favorite planet is going to be offline for six hours, you may want to come back in seven hours because that's during the mission window, but don't stay away for too long or the mission window will close again. So the two pieces of this are every time you click on a planet it gets uh, 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 it gets slower to come back but gives you more cash and you want to click during the mission window even though you can click both before and after the mission window. So those two mechanics combined give this a kind of time-based dynamic where you you might have several fast cycle new colonies out there and several slow cycle developed worlds. When the way this comes into play is that this is a social game and you can have uh, your friends build embassies on your larger worlds and then they can click and while the number uh, the length of the cycle is the same their cycles don't interact with your cycles. So that means that if you had a planet with, say, 15 uh, colony points on it and you didn't want to wait the 80 hours or whatever, then you might have one of your friends click it, uh, and then you would also get to click it, and everyone would get rewarded for that. Larger planets take a lot longer to come online, but on the other hand, they pay out just a huge amount more. In, the, in this case, they pay out uh, their number of colonies to the third power, which is long, which is a, which is an order of magnitude more than the delay. Uh, the missions are also uh, going to be, if this ever turns into a game, significantly more powerful. So you might have to have a pretty big colony before you can start getting missions that pay out in terms of uh, avatar um, upgrades or science research or whatever. Uh, in the end, the basic idea is uh, the same as virtually every other social game with click and come back mechanics. But in this case, it's got a space theme and it's got a mission window uh, thing happening. So it is a little bit more interesting, in my opinion, than a simple Facebook game normally is. Um, and uh, that's the mechanic. As to the rest of the game, it's whatever you plug into a social game that you'd like to. Everything from, uh, uh, from, from paying for cash if you want cash, avatar upgrades, fleets, um, sharing worlds and fleets and presents, uh, decorating your star map, um, decorating your planets, whatever you can come up with to throw into the game, it's all fair. Um, so this would be basically just another social game. But I do have some plans for things like making unique cultures and unique content. So you wouldn't be buying from a central store where you would get the same hat as 80 million other people have. You would be developing a unique culture um, 
so you would have the chance to have something that no one else has and I think that would really add to the uh, to the interest in playing the game because you would be honing the culture of your people as you play well anyhow that's all just blue sky that's the mechanic I came up with and I wanted to show all you guys just to let you see how much more cash these bigger planets are worth this guy over here I've got 46 bucks and turn green turn green they are 46 to 110 they're worth a lot more